before we begin today's broadcast, we would like to take a moment to thank our supporters on Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks, whose support helps make live streams like this possible. If you want to become a patron supporter, head over to Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks today. And now, without further ado, let's begin the show. Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese. Welcome to a live stream. Uh, Nick, if you're still there, welcome back. So I just um, tried to start a live stream. If perhaps you missed that, and it was abysmal. I stopped the live stream. I went back, I put the settings exactly as they were when we first started. So literally, all the exact same settings. And then all I did was reboot the computer. And uh, I did a test stream to a private, uh, unlisted stream just to see if it would work. And it did. So... No idea what went wrong! But nothing, uh, a wee little bit of a reboot couldn't fix. Things I was trying to say last time, but got cut off because I, it looked like a, a slideshow of a live stream. Desk has been reorganized a bit. Not that you can tell or it matters. But uh, I've got the monitor here for controlling the streaming PC. I've got an iPad here for, for watching chat. And yeah. Stream deck here. I think we're good to go. Put the camera higher up. Put the camera higher up because it was a bit low. It was actually under my monitor. So I was like looking off way, way up high on the wall. And now uh, I'm hopefully closer to eye level with where the camera is. Uh, ideally, my TV would be lower. And the camera would be either right on top of it or just to the side of it. But someday I'll do a room tour and you'll understand why that was never an option. <laughs> uh, but not, not right now. For right now... Uh, let me just check my stream health. Oh, that's right. YouTube doesn't give you useful graphs. They're just telling me the audio stream's current bit rate is lower than recommended. We recommend an audio stream bit rate of 128. No chance is it lower than that. In fact, I would argue it's probably higher. We're going to go into settings. We're going to call YouTube out. We're going to play Halo. We're going to play Halo. But very briefly, uh, audio quality. If it's streaming, let's see, what track is it using? It's using Audio Track 6. Audio track six is all the, the wrong audio track. It's supposed to be using five. Uh, audio track six, though, is 320. It says it's lower than recommended, but they recommend 128, and it's currently 320. So no, YouTube, you're wrong. I will change it, though, because the one it's supposed to be using is track five, which is 128. Uh, my bad. Track six is for local recording, because I recorded the highest quality. Uh, lossless audio, not really. It's not lossless. It's AAC, uh, codec, whatever it is. Uh, but there was an update to Halo. So in between last stream and this stream, when I was I was ill with the cold, uh, that was was making me feel. Wait, did I I did set the? Yes. Okay. I uh, just wanted to verify a quick setting there. I had I had a bit of a. <laughs> It's always something. Every time I close OBS and I come back in, and I don't know why this is, but every time my webcam is just slightly someplace else other than where I had it. This has happened every time since I've moved it. It used to be in the top right corner, and then ever since I decided I was going to move it down here so that it looked more like I was looking into the center of the screen when I stare ahead. At least I hope that that's what it looks like. Ever since then, it's just started to drift all over the place. And it ends up in heaven only knows where part of the time. When I first booted up for the last at attempt at live streaming... Hi, Nick. How are you doing? Uh, what do you mean, oh no? Don't say, oh no. Are you, are, are you saying, oh no, to the disappearing webcam? Is the audio not working? I An oh no is unnerving for me. That's gonna... Uh, until you explain your oh no, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sit here with bated breaths... Uh, but yeah, I don't know. When I first booted this up, the webcam was nowhere to be found, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Then I finally realized it had set it off to some coordinates a mile away from the actual canvas. So anyway, there's been an update. There's been an update. And uh, we're back on ultra settings, and it's actually running at 60 FPS, at least right here where we are. Now we'll see whether or not that sticks. Uh, now the game wants us to go to this spire over here and figure out what's going on. And, and Nick, honestly... Unless you're about to tell me that the whole thing is busted, I see no reason not to do that. So I think we will just persevere through and, and give that a shot. I do want to see... 
What's going on over here? I think the game definitely has a route they want me to take, which is down this road to fight bad guys. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Uh, maybe I can just sneak over here and punch these guys in the face. Looks like they're all asleep. And there's brutes down there, and that could be risky. Oh, the OBS annoyance. Okay, good. No, thank goodness, Nick. Yeah. No, yeah, that is a bit annoying, and I don't know what's causing that. Oh. Good, they stayed asleep. I was half expecting them not to. Stealth in this game is a near impossibility, because I have no idea how line of sight works. They seem to be able to... Look at my legs. Ridiculous. They seem to be able to just, just hear me. Watch. In a, in a, in a, I want to be able to have a knife. Where I do that, and then this guy doesn't immediately know I'm here. And then that guy down there knows I'm here. And then everyone just knows that I'm here. And it, it just raises the question of why I even bother. I have not played this game since the last time we streamed, so we're about to f figure out whether or not I remember the controls. And whether or not I can speak properly. Uh, f f f f figure out the controls. What weapons do I have? I haven't... This Is this what we ended the last stream with? I, I will confess, after the last stream... I did actually play a little bit more because I wanted to go to that last area we cleared out and get all of the stuff we'd left behind because we did miss a few things. So I did go and do that, which is probably where these weapons came from. Assuming the game remembers I did that because apparently there's a bug with the save game in this. I didn't really read the details of it. I just saw someone mentioning it online and I was like, uh-oh, hope I'm not affected by that. And I might be right now. I have no way of knowing because I don't remember what weapons I ended last session with, uh, nor do I remember. Oh, hi there. Thank you for not just killing me. Like, you could have just driven up behind me and, and been done with me. But you, you didn't do that. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Excuse me, I'm running away for just a second. Give me just a minute while I try to process how I'm going to deal with you. How do you feel about a grenade? Oh, he didn't like it. He didn't like it, but he didn't stay long enough for it to do anything. Okay, see, now that would have been affected if it had actually stuck to him. As would that have been. Oh, okay, no, we got a hit. We definitely got him. Now we just gotta deal with this guy. Alright, I, I realize we have no shield at the moment. Which is why... Oh. Okay, honestly didn't expect that to work. But we're, I'm feeling a lot better about our odds. We passed one of these previously that wasn't sparking and on fire. It, that might have actually been this one. He might have just gotten in it and started using it. We were trying to be sneaky at that point. I didn't feel like a vehicle was gonna be very uh, conductive to being sneaky. Nah, it's fine, Nick. You didn't freak me out too badly. I mean, a little bit, but not too badly. I just thought we were going to try to be stealthy and see maybe if this game was a little bit better for such... Well... We're off to a swimming start. We're off to just a wonderful, wonderful start. This is why I, I worked so hard to, to be healed from my cold, is so that I could get on Halo Infinite and get taken out by grunts in, in little bitty vehicles. Uh, just out of nowhere. After one flip, to be fair. That, that's my fault. I should have still been in my vehicle. I'm, I haven't forgotten where that guy came from, by the way. Yeah, I'm anticipating his... Oh, wait. No, no. Okay, hold on. Was that a grunt? There's actually two of them here. I didn't really get a good look at which one hit me last time. It could have been this grunt. It could have been this brute. Honestly, I, I hope it was... I was I'm hoping it's the... Oh, is this an elite? I can't tell. He's dead now. It doesn't matter. I'm hoping it was him. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping it was this guy, because being killed by a grunt again would be embarrassing, because how many times has that happened? I know our first death in this series was absolutely a grunt, and that was an embarrassment. It would be, I was talking about a banana at the time. I was talking about the concept of planting my own bananas, like, uh, trees, to harvest my own bananas, so that I could then use the bananas to get rid of... I had a cramp in my leg, and I was like, don't I need more potassium? And then in my, my brain, that just I was just like, yeah, okay, the easiest way to do that would be to grow my own bananas. But apparently that's not, like, the easiest thing to do. Because, you know, I have that new banana rot thing that's happening that's killing all of the banana plants on the planet. They're all going to go extinct, except for one guy who found a wild banana that he started crossbreeding with regular bananas. And that is apparently resistant to this banana rot fungus that is, is, is able to be planted in the infected soil and grow just fine and produce the bananas we all know and love. Which is good, because we've already lost one species of banana. You know the reason banana... Uh, this is a fun fact for you. I don't know. Everyone might know this, though. This might be, like, that, that one guy who every sort of social interaction he's in, he's like, Did you know that Super Mario Brothers 2 was actually a game called Doki Doki Panic that was reskinned to be a Mario game for America? Because Nintendo of America thought the real Mario 2 was too difficult. Yeah, we all know. We all that's that's that is the game fact. I think you learn that one when you're born. Now, when you come out of the womb, the doctor whispers that into your ear, 
and is like, let me tell you something about video games. Everyone knows that fact. It's not interesting anymore. And maybe this fact about banana candy is the same, but I'm, I'm going through with it. So the current banana candy that we have, a lot of people may have noticed this doesn't actually taste like banana. And that is because the flavor that we have for banana candy is based on a banana that went extinct. It no longer exists. Because the problem with the way we do plants nowadays is they're all the same hybridized plant. Uh, we don't have like the multiple varieties we used to have. And what happens there is if a, a fungus or a disease comes out that if affects that tree, if you don't find a way to treat them, that's just going to spread until it... Oh, gosh, get out of there. I, mm, I, was, I was talking about bananas again. I was talking about bananas again. Bananas are always going to be my death. The problem is, if, if you don't address that illness pretty quick, every every type of that plant is going to go extinct because there's no way to... to uh, uh, doesn't matter. You get what I'm trying to say. The point is, uh, that's what happened to the old banana. And that's why banana candy doesn't taste like our current banana because our current banana is different. Why can't we bring back the old banana now with our advanced technology? I don't know. Do you have a sample of it? There were those ladies. This is a, okay. This is an interesting for a story. There's these ladies who went back and they brought back like this ancient fig that used to grow in Israel that went extinct after an invasion. Maybe the Romans. I don't remember the details. They're not important. The fact is, they find these dormant seeds for this ancient. I think it was figs. Yeah, it must have been these ancient figs that grew in, in Israel. You know, two thousand years ago. The Jesus figs, if you will. And uh, they went extinct. And, and they managed to actually get one of these seeds to produce a plant. And they grew it. And now they're uh, they're, they're harvesting these ancient uh, figs that went extinct 2,000 years ago. They're back. They're, they did it. Science did it. We brought back the extinct fig. So let's bring back the extinct banana. We found a cure for this uh, banana fungus that's killing all of these modern banana plants uh, by, by hybridizing it with this wild banana that's resistant to the fungus. So why, I ask you, is this thing going to blow up too? It looks like this one's going to blow up too. I'm not going to worry about it yet. Why can't we do that with old banana that banana candy's based on? We're actually going to abandon that. I don't want to die in it again. I, I don't want to take the risk. What we're going to do is we're going to try to do what we did to this guy and steal his. Oh. oh. Uh, well, that's not what I thought that was going to do. Also, I didn't really take advantage of it. All right. Nice. It's on fire, too, though. Good lord. Who is shooting at me? Oh, you. Okay. I'm going to take your weapon. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's be very cautious about what we do here. Okay. I did not realize what type of weapon I had. If I had, I would have definitely landed that first shot. That That is on me. I just have poor aim. Oh my gosh, this thing's amazing! I've actually tried to use this in multiplayer. The problem is in multiplayer, the enemies move around. Whereas in single player, at least on normal difficulty, they do just tend to stand there and take it, which is much preferable because I don't have to be good or quick at aiming. It's what makes multiplayer so difficult, you know? People are actually good. People are actually competent. I have been getting roasted, by the way, for playing this game on easy, which I am not. If you go back and check the first stream archive, we started playing this game on normal difficulty, and it has not been changed since. But that bit where the first berserker comes out in the hallway and, like, rushes you? Yeah. Uh, I uploaded that as a YouTube short. It's doing okay, I think. But so many of the comments are like, well, this is what happens when you play on easy. But I'm not. I'm not playing on easy, and in fact, to prove my point, my difficulty is normal, thank you, uh, and has been since we started. But yeah, it turns out three three headshots to the head is enough to uh, to kill a berserker, which I don't think we've managed since. I think every time they've attacked us since, they've been in groups, right? And that makes it so much more difficult, because I get nervous. I get panicky. When, when three big guys are running at me and they're yelling, I, I, I start... Uh, and I can't aim properly. And my instinct is to just get away from them. Put distance between them. But they're fast. They're really fast. And they run after you. And they're, they're quite intimidating. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But yeah, I, I really have appreciated being roasted by uh, strangers on the, on the Howdy Folks Shorts channel. Uh, for, for playing in a difficulty I'm not playing at. That's been great. Yeah, we're going to take another one of these. This is great. 
And then uh, we'll take this as well. This is basically a shotgun, isn't it? In a sense. We need a DNA sample from the old bananas, and maybe we can bring back the old bananas. Well, I'll tell you what we need to do, Nick Alvarez, is we can just get a DNA sample from the banana candy. <laughs> not really. That was a joke. I realized, as I said it, that maybe, maybe, maybe not everyone would get that I'm joking. No, I understand there's no ancient banana DNA in the, in the banana candy. I, I feel like I can't even run with that bit. I mean, I've got people that are accusing me of playing the game on easy. You know, I, I don't know what I can actually get away with anymore. Uh, oh gosh, no. Don't blow me up, please. I'm just trying to clear out the region around this place before we rush in and then everyone kind of on the perimeter then rushes in to uh, back them up. We're at the spire, though. And there is an audio message around here somewhere. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, Nick, thank you, Nick. I appreciate that you believe me. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to hang around here and try to find that because I think that that would be very boring and I can just as easily come back after the stream. I can go get me like a little bowl of ramen. I can go get myself a nice cup of water and I can come back here. I can put on a nice little podcast. They're really not going to let me get guys? this thing in there. Hunters. And what Wait, you? what? Don't answer that. Just get rid of them so I can get us in. I didn't, I didn't even realize there were hunters in there. No wonder they're not letting me get this in there. We're going to try our best, though. Okay. I, I don't know why I thought that was going to work. There's got to be a way. And I'm not giving up until I figure it out. Anyway, what I was just trying to say is I can, I can um, in my leisure, come back and I can find that, that missing piece. What if we just get going at speed, like, right here? Oh! Yes! Okay! This is how we do it. Now we just have to avoid actually being hit by them. Uh, actually, what happens if we hit them, you know, again, at speed? N not much. They seem to just tank it. They're totally fine with that. Oh, I don't know. He kind of grunted a little bit like he didn't like it. Let's try again. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if that's actually damaging him or if that's just his way of saying he's not a fan. Uh, I don't know why we stopped shooting as oh, well. We have to stop shooting when we ram them. Oh, oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me, sir. So far, we've managed to keep this one from actually like, ow. Oh, gosh. He might actually take our vehicle down before we take him down. Oh, we got him, though. We got him. This is not the way the game intends for us to be doing this, and I'm not even mad. The game might be, though. This one is way more active. I mean, I think the other one's gun might have been broken, because he didn't shoot us at all, it doesn't feel like. Oh, we gotta get behind him if we can. That would make this go by so much quicker. Does it feel like he's, like, absorbing a lot of hits? I'm sorry, I didn't quite read the subs down there. Did they say angry, threatening roar? It's not very intimidating. Yeah, we're not... Oh, oh, it's a whining groan. He's a whining groan. He's dead! We got him. A short series of finding the files. I mean, again, I, I just can't imagine anyone being interested in that. I mean, even saying that, I am now looking around. We need to listen for the beeps. Where's my remote? I'll turn up the audio. See, I don't even hear the beeps. We're not... No. Okay. We're just going to turn this on. We're going to continue the story. We're going to progress the plot, as they say. I'll come back later. It's fine. Hmm. These things, are, these lights are starting to hurt my eyes. I not vanished in origin. It's sturdier than I expected. Perfect. This can't be healthy, like, long-term, to have this kind of light in your eyes at all times. If I bend these slightly so they're less in my immediate vision, do I still look okay? Am I still being lit properly? That's a little bit better, actually. I like that a lot better. Let me know, Nick. I mean, I know that how I look is extremely important because I have... I mean, I've, I've got the face of a streamer. I'm aware that I, I've got that sort of winning complexion and uh, overall appearance that just really draws people in. You know, some people have a face for radio. I definitely have a face for live streaming. People want to look at it. I can't go anywhere with this. I was trying to come up with something funny to end this bit on. Just a, a real zinger of a joke. I'm not that quick on my feet, unfortunately. I can talk about banana plants for... This looks weird, doesn't it? This looks very weird. I feel like this is not supposed to look like this. <laughs> I feel like it's supposed to look like this. And then this and, and this is, is wrong. If I if I only look straight ahead, I think we're fine. How how long is it gonna go? 
This is like an event horizon where you cross into it and suddenly it's just a blue haze. Uh, maybe that is by design. Maybe that's something I don't understand about science, uh, being nothing of a scientist myself. Also, apparently, there's still an audio file to find around here. Exactly what you'd expect. Thank you, new Cortana. That that unknown. A wonderful uh, insight. In and I'll try to find out. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, let me find you somewhere to plug in. There's a locked door up there, it appears. Oh. See, I'm still not sure what was up. So I know in the first episode, one of those things was opened up and something new would come out of it. And I assume that's the creepy lady that was flying around. And I know we had our own theories about her. D no, did we just say flood there. slash um, precursor? D was that our going theory? I don't remember now. I think I just said that because that's literally the, 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 it's two options. It's forerunner or it's it's flood slash precursor. Using a protocol that's far older than anything I've ever seen. It it knows we're here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hello. I am Adjutant Resolution, sub-monitor of this installation. Loyal sub servant of this fallen pyre who must be indisposed if I have been activated. Have you seen her? Have you ever seen... Yeah. Do you want to tell us? A... Fact, the monitor is gone. Sub-monitor? Has oh. this... Gone? Have we ever seen this before? It wasn't us. Are you sure? It, of course, it wasn't us. Good. 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 I was worried you were perhaps unfriendly. As you can see, this fire has been successfully deployed. This way, I presume you wish to see the observation platform? I mean, nothing's ever gone wrong following one of these guys around, right? I mean, 343 Guilty Spark never betrayed us twice, so... See? He seems friendly. <laughs> he seems that way. Did you say something? No? Then come. Come. There is much to see. I'm ready. I love eye beams. You think she was Forerunner? I, okay, you say Forerunner, I'll say something else. Because I'm ready for something different, Halo. Yeah, you're probably right, though. It's probably just a Forerunner. I remember that happening to the last monitor. What I'm saying is, have we ever seen a sub-monitor before? Like, have we ever been to a ring that had more than one monitor? Because 343 Guilty Spark was the only monitor in his ring. And whatever the name of the one on Halo 2 that had been, like, absorbed by the Grave Mind. Oh, gosh. Did not care for that. Very disorienting. Am I the same Master Chief? Or does, like, ripping apart my molecules and hurl hurling through, through space and reassembling make a different Master Chief? Who can say? I guess those are just questions you don't ask yourself in this universe. One moment. Yes, thank you. I don't hover. For some reason. All this advanced technology and I, I don't have like a jetpack. I've got a grappling hook. I might have been able to do that. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, I understand Zeta Halo is sort of an important place, so I, maybe it just has more than one monitor. That's a bit odd. I mean, it definitively does. We know it does. I just, I'm trying to figure out why Zeta Halo of all the Halos would have more than one monitor. Well, none of the other ones seem to. The Ark didn't even have... Oh, I haven't played Halo 3 recently enough to say that. Was there a monitor on the Ark? 343 Guilty Spark was there. He was trying to get his ring back. He, he really wanted to get rid of the Flood. He really wanted to activate that sucker. Oh, we have dropped 30 frames, but considering that's 0.0%, we're not going to worry about it. Everything is fine. Hey, real quick, can you let me know whether or not this works? Because I haven't tested this in a while. So I'm just going to I'm gonna hit a button. And what I want you to do, Nick, is tell me if I sound any different or if I just sound the same. Let me know. That'll be very handy. I didn't understand a word of that. I think I might be losing not necessarily my hearing. Um... I think I might be losing my ability to just understand what people are saying, because I'll hear noises, but they won't be distinct. Uh, Omega Alpha, welcome. You you look you look sad. Uh, there's actually a question called the cloning paradox. I didn't know it had a name. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. 
I didn't know it had a name, but I've thought about that before. Oh, that's not so bad. The structure's purpose is simple. Rebuild the ring. Well, more specifically, create the materials needed to repair it. Not gonna happen. Why? It's such a beautiful... Oh, the Banished. Sorry, I was distracted for a second. There's so much to learn here. Shut it down. Permanently. No, no, no! Yep. Are you doing? This is not I like how he just tanks that. You were supposed to be friendly. Oh, this is different. Oh boy, okay. I don't think I have any weapons that are particularly well suited for this. I feel like an energy weapon would be best. Um Yeah, this is doing no damage to him at all. Uh, the game will give us what we need, presumably, right? Oh my gosh. Get me out of here. Ah, yes it did. Okay. What are you and how do you work? Shock rifle? Nice. Alright, we'll give that a shot. It, it doesn't seem... It's, it just seems to tank it. What if I attack the things that it's using to attack me? Oh, yeah! Alright, we figured it out. We figured it out. This is a 10 out of 10 classic video game boss fight. Oh, we're out of ammo? Shoot! Jeez! Oh, buddy. Hi there. Refill that bad boy for me, would you? Oh, hi. I didn't realize you were, you were, you were coming out of here. Did that not refill that ammo for me? Did that not refill that ammo for me? I thought that was going to refill that ammo for me. It's okay. We're good. Hold on. Plasma weapon required. Also, oh, here we go. Shock ammo. All right, you. Why don't you get closer? Shoot. I didn't actually mean get closer. That was, I didn't, it was not an actual real suggestion. Did not actually want you to do that. Am I just not? Oh, there we go. Well, I mean, I do have shields. I don't know if I would call that self-repair per se, but it's something akin. I think you actually have to hit, like, right on the money. Oh, gosh! Yeah, see, I, I, I mentioned earlier that I'm really bad at aiming under pressure, especially a moving target, and this was all the proof that you needed, I think. All right, the closer we are to danger, the further we are from harm. Right? Shoot. <laughs> We're trying to keep this post between us. We're just gonna have to see if this works if we shoot him in his stupid little eye. Whoa. How far can we zip zap? Zip zap! Zip zap! Zip zap! Zip! I didn't notice whether or not this thing emptied the last time we did this. No. Okay, good. Just waiting. Turn around. Look at me. 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 Ah, oh, there we go. Woof. I liked the video, and then right after, someone else did. I wonder who it was. Uh, according to the live stream, there's only one like on it, but that's just the back end. It tends to be wrong, as sometimes it says there's one viewer, but then there's definitely three different people talking to each other. So, who can say, really? But, uh, there you go. Now get me to that plinth. I'll crack this spire wide open. I feel like that was too easy. I feel like that just sort of happened. I, I, th 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 you can't just introduce a character and then kill him like that. Also, are we all out of monitors now, or are there more of them here? 
<laughs> I would love if just there's a monitor in every level and in every one they die. Just a back and forth between us and the banished killing them. Good news and bad news. Okay. How many? Okay, straight to the bad news. A lot. I count nine. No, ten spires. More being deployed all the time. <sighs> Active. No, not yet at least. They appear to be waiting for an initialization sequence. Something is flooding the network trying to start it, but there's resistance. Why? The protocol that triggered all this wasn't exactly correct. It worked. Well, it started the process. There's more bad news. I can't shut it down exactly. But I can remove it from the network. Of course, I can find the source of the attack. I just need to... Wait. Is it safe? Come on. It's me. An infiltration program designed... Ooh. Oops, I think she knows I'm... How are you doing this? Disconnect. Give me one second to... Get it now. It's done. Why don't you press it? What was that? It's not a matter of trust, oh, dear. Such a great idea. He's just been hurt one too many times. Immediate extraction. My location. Oh god. It was you, wasn't it? Now. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, he's just there. Oh, now it shows two likes. Hopefully we don't need that stuff. Also, hopefully we never have to go get that audio log, because I think it might be gone now. Unless it was down around the base. Otherwise, it's gone forever now. I'm not too worried about it, because I found out... All of them? We can't go back to, like, previous... The, the introduction level, we can't go back to, so... In order to 100% the game, I just have to restart it. would be crazy, right? This one. It was the source of the attack. Attack? What's she talking about, Chief? Is everyone trying to kill you? Yes. It kind of seems like it. Oh, wait. You're being sarcastic. He's fun. I like him. Am I dead? Oh, I, I must be. I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. It's something of a miracle that we're still alive, isn't it? So apparently for that entire sequence, we were just dropping frames. Apparently like 500 of them, just out of nowhere for no reason. I'm not even really sure what got pushed. I think the encoder. It looks like the encoder was peaking. No. Get no. Sorry. You. I can't stand it. Who you are. Breathe. No! You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything! We're... Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. Yeah, no, he's a great... I wish I knew what his actual name was, but he's... he's, uh, Possibly... Banished R&D? I just want to listen to these. 
Uh, it's just the most ridiculous things that the, uh, the little grunts are broadcasting on these towers, and I love it. That, that was a cliff there, and we're lucky it didn't take us to our death. Uh, we're gonna destroy that tower, because it's bad for morale. If we can destroy it, I don't know, it seems to be pretty resistant to everything we put into it so far. There we go, alright. Oh, that was a drop-off! Wow, look at that, that could've absolutely been our death if we'd not been careful. How about that? Alright, I hear you guys, I'm coming. Alright, situation dealt with. Uh, where am I supposed to be heading? Am I doing something with uh, anti anti aircraft? I guess probably the, that big one there. What? Who sh stop that. Stop that right now. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, he's one of my favorite characters. I'm sure he's going to die by the end of the game. That's what they do in video games nowadays, man. Every video game character is just there for you to like them until they die. Y'all remember, uh, y'all remember Phoebe and, uh, was it Phoebe or like, Phoebe, whatever her name was. Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Odyssey? They're like, here's this cool little kid character. Hope you don't get attached. She's gonna die. I called that, like, day one as well. And I was not happy when it happened, because I didn't want to be right. Remember they killed Bayek's kid? Uh, it's mostly kids, really. They kill kids in video games to raise the stakes and give you an emotional investment. And, and, then, and then they do it with grown-ups, too, sometimes. That's why we're sure this guy's going to die by the end of the game. We don't want him to. It's just what's going to happen. I don't really know if I want to carry this around with me. I feel like there's probably better weapons we could be using. We're going to refill this one real quick, though. Get it chalked up. I don't want any... I don't want... I hate the Needler. Is that just a me thing? I've never liked that gun. It, it always, it, it's, it's, a, it, I don't like, I don't care for it. What the heck is that sound? What, what is that? What was that? Okay, what have you got? I hate, I hate all of these guns. This is some sort of a, a claw utensil? What even is this? This is like it's used to pick up radioactive rods and put them into something. I know, I know how it works. I know how the nuclear works, guys. I'm familiar. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, gosh. Let's not get too close to that. That's a nightmare waiting to happen. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna zip around until our... Ah, uh, we die. Ah! It's fine. It happens. We're not that upset about it, really. Death is just a natural part of life. <sighs> we're back in here with the claw. This this is good. This gives us an opportunity to re-examine what we're doing with our lives. Pulse carbide is not what we're here for. We do need to go free those marines, though. You liked the needler from Halo 4 and below? Wasn't there a Halo 5? There was a Halo 5. There was, We don't talk about it, but it existed. It was a thing that they, they made, and it came out... I played it one time, by, by which I mean I did play through, I didn't like sit down and play it for 10 minutes. I, I did finish the game. I think I played one online match, and I was like, this is um, not what anyone wanted from from Halo. It's, it's not good, that's for sure. You remember how Halo 4 was just kind of boring and pointless, and the only good parts were, were, were Chief and Cortana, and their sort of relationship stuff? You remember, you remember that? Uh, well, imagine if you you just you had Halo Four again, but then they didn't have that in it, and it was just it, so it was just a nothing of a game. That's what that's what Halo Five was. Halo Five was weird. Cortana was there. She had a giant Gundam. She was evil. Uh, I mean, you can say she wasn't evil. You can say she's a more complex character than that. I would argue she was evil because I see the world very black and white. Uh, and also, I'm right, so just accept that, and your life will be a lot easier. Um, I, lock. It, it was a lock game, which would have been fine if it was Halo and the Adventures of Lock. But they were like, it's it's Halo, it's Halo Five Guardians, and and look at this, there's gonna be this cool confrontation between Chief and Lock that we never actually got. Not really. They kind of punched up for a bit. 
It was good. No, you did. But most of the chief levels were just you walking around. It was real boring. There was nothing interesting. I didn't care about it. I don't really know how we got from four to five. I don't. Oh, shut up! I'm. I'm. Can't you see I'm trying to rant about something? Go. Go die. Go be dead. Dang it! This is all out of ammo. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kill this guy and we're gonna take his weapon. You got. You're. You're very large. I, I will I will admit that you're quite large, and I'm sure to the average person you're very intimidating. But I am the Master Chief, and you are going to die. And you're gonna like it, alright? Oh, don't shoot my Marines. Don't shoot them. They don't know what they're doing. I can't tell if he's dead or not. Okay, I feel pretty confident that he is. I don't think this was his gun, but we're gonna go with it. I don't really know where his went anyway. What am I? What am I doing here? What? What, what did I come here for? Holding position. You guys are doing great. No, really, honestly, both of you, uh, all two of you. Did everyone else die? Was this even where we were supposed to be? I feel like we were supposed to be somewhere else. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to be up this hill. This is. There's a Spartan core right here, though. S somewhere. Oh, that's not it. Apparently somewhere in this, like, immediate vicinity. Right there. Okay, and you know what? In that case, this entire fight was worth it. How many of these do we have, by the way? Sir. Have we checked? Oh, we have four Spartan cores. Oh, we can upgrade some stuff. Okay. So we have thrusters now. Adds a second charge to your thruster. We never use it. The Marine has the gun? Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. I was not paying enough attention. Okay, good for you. You turkey. You absolute turkey. Give me, give me that. Oh, I'm sure you will. Thank you for pointing that out to me, Nick. I completely missed it. Uh, all right. So we haven't actually used the thrusters any, but we can upgrade them if we want to. Add a second charge to your thrusters, and then uh, reduce cooldown. Add significant power. Sorry, allowing further and faster travel. Uh, adds a personal cloak effect to thruster, lasting four seconds after activation. Or we can upgrade the 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 th thwift shelter. The swift shelter. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the shield upgrade. Just because I'm bad at the game. And then we're going to also upgrade the, the thruster. And then we're actually going to switch over and um, use the thruster. I don't really know. I, is it just... Okay. I'm not really sure if that's the most useful thing to have, honestly. At all. I feel like the grappling hook is, is far preferable. And, and better for getting out of situations. And I just... I, I, I'm just, you know... I'm, I'm not going to count it out early. We're, we're going to try to use it, but I just, I cannot see thrusters being something that stays on our, our Q button. Also, why are they all bound to Q? Can I not bound them all to their own thing? That would be so much better if I could have everything bound to its own thing. Uh, we're just going to zip our way up here because I assume this is the direction we need to be. Darn it. Get out. Get out before that detonates. Yeah, we need to be going up this hill. This seems like the fastest and easiest way of doing that. Spider-Man our way up here. Not really sure if it's the uh, intended way to climb up here, but it's, it's what we're doing. Okay, you know what? What if we just didn't, right? Like, we could engage with all of them. Shoot, how did they know I was here?! See what I mean? It's impossible to do stealth in this game. Uh, let's just... <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was going to zip line up here and there would be no one waiting for me. I don't know. In my head, I just thought, yeah, that makes sense. We'll, we'll, we'll skip the combat by just zip lining up there. No. No, this is where everyone is. Do you not... Can you not deactivate the gun from the gun? Can we not just get to the top of this thing and, and find a switch and, and just flip it? We have to go down below, don't we? Oh, darn it. We've, we've made it all the way up here for nothing. If I just... Is this thing moving? Yes, but, like, barely. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you as well in the chat. Uh... 
Can I just get inside of the barrel? No, it's way too thin for that. And also, it's quite the drop, isn't it? This was not... No, you know what? This is exactly what I intended to do when I dropped down from there. This was this was my intention all along. And if you didn't see this coming, you weren't paying attention. We've had a five-year plan for the longest time, and this, this was it. This is what it was leading up to. This moment right here. Absolute brilliance. All that playing around on top of the gun... That was all an act. That was just me pretending like I didn't know exactly what I was planning on doing. And and here we are, and you're seeing my brilliance unfold before your very eyes. It is it is breathtaking. This is this is Keanu Reeve levels of breathtaking. Is everyone dead? I hear shooting. From something over there. That might be dead now. Oh, I, I see him moving. Okay, you know what? It's one guy. It's w w One guy cannot kill us. We've got this. Where are you at? Come here, you. Oh, look at you. Okay, so it's more than one guy. But not by much. Beautiful. I think we've secured the area. Oh, that was flawless. Well, it's as flawless as I'm going to get, honestly. Okay. Big button? Big button. Plug me in and I'll take care of the cannon. They call this security, please. Hold tight. I'll handle it. Oh. Uh-oh. USC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted. Word auditorium. What is it? I was hoping you'd know the answer to that. It's a place you go to listen to like people play music and things. Okay, I'm done here. That's my contribution to what's happening right now. Oh, is that it? I thought we were gonna get jumped. I, th I, I thought we were. Guns generator. Destroy it, and the fuse is ticking. Oh, this thing. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice, new Cortana. Trust me. Oh, it looks glorious. And now we just run. We're just going to run to the next one. We're not going to worry about all these guys. I don't care. I can't be bothered. One gun down. Two more to go. We are running out of time. Are we? The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. Rebuild the ring. But why? Maybe they want to go home too. I mean, does anyone in this series know what the ring does? I mean, I know what the ring does, and all of you know what the ring does, but what I mean is, is the people in this world, like, do they actually understand? 
Because, like, okay, the Covenant were all a bunch of, of, of religious zealots deluded into believing that by activating the ring, they would themselves uh, transcend and to, to become, like, uh, like the Forerunners or, or they become gods or some nonsense. I don't, I don't know. I think only humanity truly understood that activating the ring was going to, like, you know, kill all sentient life in the galaxy. Has this information not got back to the Banished? Are they, are they still, like, do they still not get it? What about this Harbinger? The Harbinger understands it, right? What, what is what is the goal of the Harbinger at this point? The Flood's been eradicated. There's no reason to activate the rings. Why? I mean, if it's just for... If, 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 if it's just the same reason that the uh, Covenant was doing it, why, why participate? What? What? This is odd. Okay. Here we go. Answers, everyone. Probably not, though. Killing Esherim is the only viable option we have. A power vacuum like that would destabilize the banished and win us the footing we need to hold out until help arrives. I need volunteers, and I know I'll have no shortage of them. We all want a part of this. But we can't all go and leave Referee undefended. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. John, stop. Are you kidding, Griffin? No, I'm not. This is the plan. A single strike team deep in banished territory. Agile, quiet, on foot. It's the only way it's gonna work. This might be a one-way trip. So we need people to stay. Or there won't be anything left to protect. I wonder how that went for them. And I wonder why they're leaving all this information lying around. Probably because it didn't end well. Probably. We can't say for sure. Do I actually have to fight all these guys? Or is there just like a thing that I can... Oh, okay. Fantastic. I guess that's my answer. I'm not just going to zip inside of this one. Which was my plan. That, that There's a reason I'm not fighting anything. I was hoping when I got here, I would be able to just crawl inside... And not have to do a bunch of combat. I just, I'm just i trying to fast track this. Are they remnants of the Covenant? So, Halo 4 we had remnants of the Covenant, right? And I think that... I think that's what the Banished is. I think the idea is that they are also remnants of the Covenant. Except they are remnants of the Covenant that have done away with the Prophets. Right? And it's just the... the, the but, to, again, to what end? I don't, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I, I'm sure there's a book somewhere that explains it all that I'm never going to read. I'm sure there's more than likely a YouTube video I can watch. And you know what? That's probably what we'll end up doing. All of us, when this series is over, we're all going to go to YouTube. We're all going to read. Hey, here's the top ten things you need to know for Halo Infinite to make any sense at all. And we're all going to watch that. And in retrospect, this is all going to make so much more sense. Uh, fact number one, Halo 5 existed. I bet you don't remember it. Y yes, we're all going to say yes, yes, that's true. Well, if you were paying attention in level 5, in the background there's a terminal that you can access. You can access the terminal by following a series of very specific routines. Doing so will explain that the villain of the game this entire time has actually been the recently reanimated corpse of President H.W. Bush. Like, excuse me, what? And it's going to be something weird like that. I don't know why it's that exactly. I was trying to think of a dead president. That's the first one that came to mind. Uh, I could have gone to any any other. I, I mean, Abraham Lincoln, maybe. You know, any other more notable president. Uh, Ronald Reagan would have even been more notable. Does anyone... Uh, H.W. Does anyone even... Can you name one thing that H.W. Bush did in office? I can't. He, he lost... He lost re-election to uh, Bill Clinton. There you go. That's your fun fact. Uh, oh man, there's probably like a big HW fan in the chat who's like, actually, I know all of his accomplishments in alphabetical order. Uh, I'm sorry. Gosh, dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, so we're trying to find some sort of a core. Is that right? That's the other gun, more than likely. Power core. Oh, don't shoot at me. I'm trying to figure the game out here. Oh my gosh. They're quite violent over there. Who are you? I already got one. Wait, no, I don't. Hold on. That's a different weapon. Oh. Oh, I like this gun, actually. This is a good one. 
He had a son. That's true. And his son became president. And then he had another son that didn't, but he said, please clap. And it was very funny. Top 10 uh, political moments in American history. Please clap. We're just going to run up here and punch this guy. Death to you, sir. And death to all of your little friends. And all of your little friends over here, too. All of your little sniper friends that are actually probably going to kill me. If I just had to guess. Somehow they haven't yet. This worked for us last time. It's one of the Halo rules. If something worked once, just do it again. That's what they did in Halo 2. Remember, Cortana even says it when she's like, I can detonate the ship's core and destroy the ring. It's not very original. And we all said, no, yeah, that's fine. The first game was good. Just do it again. Don't you dare. Got him. All right. The fact that there's a save tells me that we're completely safe to run around freely now and uh, find a power source. Oh. Oh. Open, I mean, let's go. I thought that she meant I would have to go find a power source and bring it to that control box. I did not realize all I had to do was go to the control box and flip the switch. I did not realize that the entire time we were running around talking about George H.W. Bush, we could have just gone and flipped that switch and gone. I, I just wanted to take a moment from the game to apologize to everyone watching. To uh, F1, to, to uh, Omega Alpha... To, to Nick, just the names I see in the chat. He, I'm sorry that I led us astray in such a way, and I, I hope that you will forgive me for this uh, this very clear blunder. Uh, my my sincerest again apologies, and I will not do that again. I promise. So we're gonna, we're going to stay more vigilant this time. We're going to head into this one. Presumably the, the the third and final one will have a boss fight in it. Although I wonder. I mean, I guess the game just like. We're just gonna go. It doesn't matter. Because I see there's there's way more guys here than I thought there was. We're just gonna we're just gonna hand on them. Get hand on them. I guess the game is just dynamically keeping track of which one the first one we went to and which one the last one we went to. I'm on it. Bush did this. We can blame Bush, that's fine. Again, but don't worry, we'll be out of here in Okay, yeah, here we go again. Yeah, the third time's gonna be the time there's a boss. Station, maybe more such loss. Do you feel it in your heart? Does it leave a hole? <sighs> Atrion was my finest recruit. He understood sacrifice and when one is necessary. I honor his memory each day when our enemy rises. We their challenge. It is why I created the Hand of Atriox. I found the best, the cruelest, the most efficient killers in the universe, and taught them how to be better. <sighs> My Spartan killers are coming for you. It is your time to rise. Spartan killers? Really? Everyone is trying to kill you. I'm done here. Now it's your turn. I love her. I love her and, and I want... I, 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 uh, she is my favorite. Okay. Oh, it's daytime now. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Where's the last one? Like over here, right? Oh! Plum's signature belongs to a Spartan Theodore Sorel. Oh! We found dead. That doesn't make any sense. Spartan. Makes sense now. Spartan. Guess who our boss fight's gonna be against? I mean, you don't know that I can hear you. I might have just ignored the summons. You are human. Weak. Pathetic. I will crack your armor. Peel you from your 
Spartan killer? <sighs> Chief, this is crazy. This is crazy. We gotta get out of here. We've gotta move. Not yet. Hold position. Hey, Dictora. It's on you, Chief. Remember that. Well, uh, I don't. If I'm such a weak and worthless human being, why is he so excited to kill me? You know, like it's not like that's gonna be a great success for him so i don't really know why he's going on about it i don't know why the idea of, of drinking my blood or whatever he was talking about is so uh, enticing but you know what whatever all right we're not going to make the same mistakes we made last time this time oh i know what to do this time oh gosh they really okay would there have been a hunter here if this was the first one i had gone to oh my gosh just turn this darn thing on we're not we're not even gonna we're not even gonna shruck around down here we're just gonna go we're just we're just gonna go I don't even care we know there's gonna be a boss fight up here the, the, the Spartan killers coming for us just get to it oh we really don't have like good weapons for a boss fight do we and cue the lockdown huh no Escheron don't be disappointed. Almost disappointed. Don't be. Something much worse is going to happen. Yeah, here we go. Almost. All set. Let's get back to the Pelican. We did it. Uh-huh. It sure seems that way, doesn't it? Okay. All right. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're just leaving now, doesn't it? There's a repeated message across all banished frequencies. The first part is Hand of Atriox. And then what? Deploy. Are they going to kill our little friend? Chief, where are you? Oh, they're going to kill him. We're on our way. No, we're not going to make it in time. Chief, Chief we've got well a lot. See that chopper? I guess that's Gosh. one of the Spartan killers. And there's the other one. Up there, in the wreckage. You need to stop them. Yeah, no, uh, thanks for the hot tip there, New Cortana. I figured that much out. Alright, who do we want to go for first? I guess this guy? Okay, so far, honestly, I'm not I'm not super impressed. Except for he's not taking any ammo or damage, and now we're out of ammo. You know what? Let's get close and personal. If we just keep doing. Oh. Oh! Oh, we knocked him down. If we could just, like, stand on top of him and continue doing this. Just got off my third 13 and a half hour shift this week. Woo! Working man, though. I'm impressed. Oh, he just he just goes up to a different one. All right, no, we can... No, and his shields are back up. Hold on, we can do this again. It's fine. Keep shooting me, dude. Keep shooting me. Come on. You're just making me mad. Okay, actually, no, that hurt, though. We're gonna, we're gonna run away now. We gotta get... We gotta get different... We gotta get... We gotta get... We gotta, first off, we're out of ammo... In one gun, and then the other gun is not really suited for this. So what have we got around here? Oh, oh, perfect. Yeah, all right, that'll be good. And also, go ahead and have a listen to that. That that's just such a chill little notification sound. Here we go. So, through. Report. Yes, the banisher deploying resource harvesters, and. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying so hard to cheese this by just staying in the back of this thing and shooting him, but I think he figured out my plan. Shoot. Shoot! I keep doing that!
Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, darn it. This guy's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. I know I'm about to die. I, oh, I know it's risky to stay here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh. It's almost perfect, though. Come on and die already. Yes! No, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Why is he... Where, where is he? Why can I not hit him? Okay, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, that was glorious. That was absolutely glorious. That was, that was wonderful, and I loved it. So pleased. Okay, can we get up there to him now? Oh, there you are. Oh, the more we can cheese this, the, the, the happier I will be. Dang it. I would have loved to snag him out of the air. Hey, we did it! We did it! Oh. I mean... <laughs> it kind of was. Comms are still offline, but I was able to activate his tracking beacon remotely. He's... He's out in the open. The UNSC ship graveyard. I hope he's okay. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're, we're like all out of ammo. Of every type. We're just running away at this point. Is that where I need to get to? Way over there? Okay. Alright, now that's fine. Oh gosh, hi there you. run oh that was that was a very satisfying cheesing of that boss fight like a, a super satisfying cheesing of that boss fight all right well i have to go to the bathroom really badly now so we're gonna put the stream on pause and we'll be right back uh what one midstream outro we'll be right back <laughs> 